Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and I am back with my January plan with me in my B6 um, bullet journal. I have the usual bits and pieces, so I'm using this winter morning kit from Planner Face which was a re-release on the Black Friday sale. So these are the pages of the kit. And of course I have the glitter headers. And then as usual I have a ton of washi. I am not going to be doing any like decorating under my stickers this month just because I want to simplify things up a little bit and yeah so I'm just gonna get straight on with it I am gonna try this as a chatty um, one plan with me that's what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna leave those two pages for next week and then that page and we're gonna start here I think I am gonna bring the B6 out of the cover though just to make life a little bit easier um, I am also not going to be doing a monthly calendar because I will be using this bullet journal with this B6 for everything and I already have a monthly calendar in the B6 so it seems pointless to do another one in my um, TN in my bullet journal so yeah that's the plan so this will be my cover page and then yeah so we're just gonna get straight on with it um, I might even just start with my cover page to be honest with you and I'm just gonna put I think I haven't planned this at all um, this washi along the top which is the bottom washi from the kit um, as I say this is not at all planned and I have no idea what's gonna happen or how this is gonna come out but we will see um, they're just gonna top and bottom the page with the bottom washi to have a lump here oh it's the lump where the um elastic is attached um you know what? i didn't pull out a ruler and i can't even see one on my desk that's not very helpful is it um i'll tell you what i do that i really probably shouldn't is i just use the edge of one of my planner face albums it's a straight edge when i don't have one and i just stab myself in the finger look blood actual blood um <laughs> picking up my knife so warning do not stab yourself with your craft knife it hurts i didn't cut enough off so i'm just gonna cut another sliver that off sorry that cutting is probably really really loud and again just at the top cutting it off and we'll save that bit for later and then in the middle I might just put a oh so her old kits just came with extra washi rather than an extra full box on this page but I think what I'll probably do is stick a January sticker in gold foil there and then just write a quote underneath it but I haven't pulled my January sticker out so I'm just gonna leave that for now and move on so this page is gonna be my habit and mood tracker and we're gonna try and fit them all on one page this time so for my habit tracker I have actually pulled out an extra few habit trackers because the kits come with two um, so I'm just gonna leave sort of a little space for a title and then stick three habit trackers down one next to another um, so I've got two of these sort of red bright red ones is that enough space for a title just trying to fit quite a lot on this page and I'm like mm, is this the right decision so Sunday Saturday Friday Thursday Wednesday Tuesday Monday in the cap so that'll be fine and if we do the same at the other side so we are just below that dotted line on Sunday Saturday Friday Thursday Wednesday Tuesday Monday and in fact if we can move a tiny bit further along almost in to the crooks of the planner that works better um sorry i could zoom in that might be useful to you i'll just refocus and then we'll grab a third habit tracker i've got two blues as well so let's use the blue in this gap sunday saturday friday thursday wednesday tuesday monday so that's great so we can just move that a little bit more that way 
So try and make sure like Thursday is central-ish. So that's that and then we need a calendar underneath. So I'm just going to check in my monthly calendar what days the month starts and ends on for my actual habit tracker. Um, so January is a Tuesday to a Thursday and it is five weeks. Tuesday to a Thursday in five weeks. So with my Pigma Micron, I'm then just gonna draw Tuesday, one, two, three, four. Draw a line down. I just counted and then lost count. What do I say? Tuesday to Thursday, oh my God, my memory is so poor. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd try a chatty one because usually these videos would be way too long to do chatty because they are, end up like um, the footage is quite often like five hours long just because of all the watercolouring and stuff that I tend to do. Um, so Sunday, Saturday, Friday, so this would be Thursday. So that's that. So this first box is a little bit tricky because I'm sort of just guesstimating it. So I'm not, I've not got a dotted line to follow there. I don't know why I haven't drawn that one all the way across. So yeah, that is the month and I'm just going to do the same for the rest of the months. Um, so as I was saying, I tend to get a really good reception to chatty videos. So I do, I am trying to do a few more of them. Um, they do take longer to edit and sort out and I really don't like the sound of my own voice. So filming them and like editing them is not my favorite thing in the world um but i still enjoy it i've just drawn a line where i do not want one haven't i this is why i can't talk and do things because i have no self-control um <laughs> i just i lose focus so easily so i'm just like la 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 drawing lines in random places Okay, so, why does this look so messy? I swear they don't normally look this messy. Where's my last month? Oh, I didn't do them in this planner. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna use a bit of Tipex. I mean, I would if I could see it, but I can't. So, what's um, And then we're just gonna do the same thing directly below, and I'm gonna do the blue one at this end and the red one in the middle, just to mix things up. I think I might just leave I don't want to leave like a whole space but then if I don't leave a whole because the bottom has to like line up and then it like goes over that line and I don't love that so I might just leave a whole gap so that one and then we want red next And again, just Sunday, Saturday. Nah, that's about right. Um, <laughs> but that is wonky. Sure. There we go. And then the last one. I should have another one in the kit. I was like, I should have another one of these. Where is it? In the kit, Tilly. In the kit. That's where it is. So yeah, that is for my six habits. And again, just gonna draw in the calendar in the same way. Guesstimating where. Sunday, Saturday, just end on a Thursday. I'll be fine. Making it up as I go along. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yeah. That is right, isn't it? Isn't it? If not, it's too late now because that's what all my calendars are drawn as. This is a very confusing state of affairs. 
because I've normally drawn a monthly calendar by now. So I have something to reference to when I'm drawing my habit trackers. Maybe I, I think I usually draw in a thicker pen. This is only a point two nib and this is not what I normally do my writing in. Not draw lines. I think that's what's going on and why I don't like how these are turning out. But am I going to go over them in a thicker pen? Probably not. Um, maybe I will though. Shall I? If I'm going to prefer how it looks, I probably should. I'm just eh, reaching over. I have a little stack of Pigma Microns. Just out of reach. Sorry if that sounded really odd. Um, if I have a thick one here, I'm going to draw on it. But I don't. I have, well, no, I have a 03. But I'm not about that either. And then, oh, hey, microphone. Those two are not new, so those lines will just have to do. Okay, so next up we have um, the mood tracker. And what I'm going to do for the mood tracker is I'm going to use the flags. I really, really, really like this mood tracker. Um, I don't have any date dots to use with this kit because the kit didn't come with them and I'm not pulling in other date dots. So I'm going to do the same idea but with um, just writing the numbers underneath. I'm going to have more moods. So I want to leave 10 spaces. 7, 8, 9, 10. So I don't have a pencil. So yeah, I just want to start about there and I'm just going to pull in these flags and just bob them down. And then I'm going to write a mood on the flag. So. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven possible flags, but I'm not going to use seven. I'm not even sure I'm going to use this one, so I don't know why I put that down first, but that is marking where I want it to be so it can stay. Um, so mood wise, so this is like my rough plans. Um, mood wise, I would like happy productive, sad, sick, okay, I think that's all of the ones, productive, sad, sick, meh, and That's fine, so six. So if we then flip to cheat sheet, if I want six, I have three wide plus four. So nicely, these are three wide, but because it's plus four, um, and I want it to be plus five, I'm just gonna pull that along to there for sort of, so, um, so I can have a gap between each one. That makes sense. What I might actually do? I think I'm going to put habits there and the mood here, like as titles. So I am just going to try and line these up centrally between the dots. So that will just you will just be able to see the dots either side of them. I think that's the plan. I'm just going to go pattern, non-pattern. Pattern. No pattern, pattern. No pattern. Because, you know, you clearly needed that explaining to you. Get your head in the game, Tilly. Get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. I gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. I know that is not at all the tune, but you know, you get what I'm trying to do here. So, that is that. Um, I'm gonna come back in and do titles in a bit, I think, because I just want to get like the main things down. Then on this page, we're gonna do a YouTube tracker. I don't use any washi. What is happening? Maybe I will put habits and mood at the top and put 
a washi divider. I think I'm going to do that instead. So I pulled up quite a lot of washi. I think I'm going to get scallops. Yes, scallops or bows. No, the scallops looked better, didn't they? Scallops. So yeah, I'm pulling in rose gold with this monthly kit. Well, no, weekly kit that I'm using as a monthly kit. Because that's what I do in my bullet journal. I don't know why I'm singing at you, um, but I feel like it. So yeah, that is that divider. Um, so then on this page, we're going to do YouTube schedule. And then like brain dump and awaiting on list at the bottom. So for my YouTube schedule, I again need to think. So there might be a Monday video that day. So I'm going to use um, half boxes for this. So let's just start with a... So we want to be able to fit a title and then a half box. So about here, we need a half box. I was going to put in appointment labels for this. Hmm. I don't actually know what I was going to do. Anyway, um, half box and then a non-kit half box next to that. And then another half box, or in fact, an appointment label from the kit. I know, because they're loads thinner. No, oh, it's not loads thinner than that. Mm. Does that look weird? I think I might just use half boxes. Um, so we'll use another kit half box and we'll use a patterned one. So that's fine, um, except there's no Wednesday video that day, that week. Nope, 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 nope. So most weeks we just have Monday and Friday videos. And that first week we will just have a um, Monday video. So we've got Monday, Monday, no, Friday, Monday, Friday, Monday, Friday. So we need another Friday, basically. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this. Um, it is not this difficult. It really isn't. Um, I think I might just leave. Oh, it's fine. That's fine. Um, so then on the next one, I'm just gonna try and line up the bottom with the bottom that makes any sense so like the bottom of this box with where the bottom of that box will be um, I think I'm gonna use this plain scalloped box hit this side I'm just gonna want to move that tiny bit more over because this side is literally just... So that is... <laughs> I need a calendar! I'm just going to open this calendar off to the side. So we have 4, 11, 18, 25. And then actually in the last week we'll have the 28th and the 30th. I think. And then the, next, the Friday will actually be the next month so I think what we'll do is we will just pull in a middle one so I'm actually just going to use I have a slightly longer half box which I'm going to put in the middle here because oh, I think it will fit just perfectly so this is actually from a monthly kit um, and the monthly boxes are slightly wider so yeah that fits perfectly there and just put that one there and there we have it that's my YouTube schedule, um, or will be. Let's put some dates in while we know. Let's not. And then underneath that, so again, I just want to divide the page. And this time, I think we've got quite a lot of room here. So I think I might just use this books washi, which I love. Just divide the page. Just like that. 
and just push it into the um, middle of the book and there we have it. I'm um, sorry if there was just a weird cut, I am um, my camera stopped filming because I got 20 minutes. So yeah, that is that page. Um, so here I need a divider as well. Maybe I should have used like the same divider. Or maybe actually for this divider I could use the washi that comes here um, and just pull it in this strip just down the middle. I've just completely guessed where the middle of that page is. Um, so that's just a flick to my cheat sheet. So it is 11. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So actually, if you count this as one, that is perfectly in the middle. Good eye, Tilly. Good eye. So that is for waiting on and brain dump, which will have some titles. I'm going to add titles into everything at the end. So that's sort of my dashboard look at the month. And then we're going to just have spending on the next page. Let's just check my cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Yep, so we've just got spending on this page. Um, and my spending is even going to be really simplified this month. So let's put in some headers. Why not? Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Why not? So, just thinking what to do with headers. For this one, I'm just going to use this Happy Mail sticker that came in the kit. And I think I'm just going to literally bob it on without anything else. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Just stick that like that. I was just thinking about whether any of these would do for my brain dump um, and not really is the answer to that. Um, I could just use a to-do header from the kit, that would work. Yeah, let's just pull in a, a to-do header in the same colour. Um, and I could use these checklists, but I just don't think that that will be enough space. So I'm not going to, um, basically, and I will just leave those to be filled in as I want to. My cat's pulling the carpet, give me a second, sorry about that. Um, so then for my YouTube, um, do I want to pull in any stickers for that? Nah, I don't think so, I think I will just write YouTube in some sort of lettering. I want to brush letter it, but I can't find my brush pen. There it is. Um, I'm just gonna brush letter YouTube in my usual sort of bouncy modern calligraphy. I can't spell schedule ever, so I always like, take a check back. Oh, I said videos last month. Let's Google it. Real life, guys. I'm just gonna Google how to spell a word. There we go. Um, I have dyslexia. That is my excuse. But also, I just I'm awful at spelling. Not that I use dyslexia as an excuse. You. There we go. And then just to spice this up, I think a full box might fit quite nicely in that gap. So let's have a look. Oh, not quite, like really not quite. So let's just um, line it up with the gap I want at the bottom and sides. And I'm just gonna cut the very top of the box off. Again, using my album as a ruler because I have zero chill um, and I'm too lazy to walk downstairs to get myself a ruler. So I 
feel like I want some like deco here but I haven't pulled any deco out to use with this kit and this kit doesn't have any deco the other thing I could do is I could just use um, some of the strips of washi in the kit like here and there yes no is that too busy is that too like fill the space I might see if I've got any deco that fits with this in a little bit um habits I kind of want to bubble right um for my bubble layering I normally pencil it in I could go and get some things I'll get some things next time my um I want habits and mood don't I so I really I don't have a pencil I don't know what I'm searching for Let's write the moods in across here. So we want just to write them in, in. Am I might gonna, am I might gonna, am I might gonna, good words. I'm gonna write them diagonally, I think. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm just gonna write the date underneath, or I might use some date dots. Who knows and my habits themselves I'm just gonna brush letter on because brush letter um, but I'm gonna like put two of them on a sticker and I'm gonna leave Instagram and no spend on stickers and I might do these two Instagram and no spend um, maybe or I do like hmm. anyway I'm gonna start with teeth and that just means a brush your bloody teeth so sort of grim but fun fact about me I hated brushing my teeth as a kid I don't particularly like the taste of mint and so as a kid I was like no not having it um, so I didn't um, so as an adult it's been quite a hard habit to get into and then I just like to have a habit tracker for how often me and my other half talk on the phone or voice note each other because we live we're distance and we live far apart um, and then for the month of January I think I'm going to do well I've committed to it and do it now because it's a habit tracker um, I think I'm going to do a yoga challenge so that's for that um, so yeah, that is sort of my monthly overview and then we're just going to have spending. So spending again, I just, I want to kind of, why do I want to do so much bubble lettering? This is not like me, but instead I'm going to use a strip of washi because I, I feel like I'm barely using any washi this month. Maybe that's a good thing though. Maybe I should just like stick to not much washi. Ooh, controversial. It's not going to happen though, is it? Because as soon as it gets... Um, but it might do. Mm. Anyway. So, for that, I'm just going to put a strip of bow washi down. With a half box in. And I'm just going to write spending in that. because that's what I fancy doing. Um, I'm gonna use a squared half box and just roughly guess where the middle is. That looks pretty central to me. That will do just fine. So rather than last month's spending tracker, which had category split up, I'm just gonna do my four columns. In fact, I'm just gonna do three columns date what and where how much actually no I'm going to do four because I'm also going to do category so for that we are going to use some of these washi strips and for this are we going to use washi strips or are we going to lose little things? I might use little things because then I can cut this bit off without feeling guilty. So, yeah, because then I can use one for each colour. 
I'm just going to write, I'm going to turn them upside down, and I'm just going to write on this first one, date, then cat dot for category, what and price. Then for each of these stickers, I'm just going to grab, I really could do with a ruler, but I'm just so lazy. So date and category, I'm just going to cut off immediately after the word finishes. Because these are going to be the column headers. We've got sort of that gap to write the date in. And then that next gap to write the category. And I might move these up or down a little bit so now nah, they can stay where they are, it's fine. And I've got sort of two and a bit boxes for the category. And then for price, I want one, two, three, four boxes just gonna go there and I'm just gonna cut there in a minute and for my what I am just going to stick these down stick another one down oh, that means I'm gonna use three there a washi strip that is this thickness is this washi strip this thickness it's darker why is it oh because they're pale well that's rude um yeah it's fine so then i'm just gonna pull it in my album cover again just cut off that there and while i'm here cut off this over here rid of that bit of the sticker line this perfectly up stick it down cut off that and do the same again but for this bit we'll just need a really tiny bit of little thing which is kind of annoying but whatever you win some you lose some again this I don't know where that quart box even came from and I think because this is not as long as I would like so I'm gonna get rid of that pull in the little thing again line it up again and just cut it off and then sort of my headers go all the way to across and this I'm doing this differently basically because if we flip to this month I left loads of space for gifts but then I bought all of my Christmas gifts on like one day so I just wrote it once and then I hadn't left enough space for food whereas I've spent this is also food so I just don't want the restriction of that um, so then I'm going to fill this in and when it's all filled in um, I'll probably have the same table so it depends how much space is left I probably will just finish with this table if I fill up all of this space if not I will um, have that table at the bottom of the month and then do like a bar graph or some sort of measure of how much I spent on each category so that is actually it for this page I'm not even going to draw lines down because like if you look at this month I know we're only halfway through the month but I have only used 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 lines which is like half a page 
so how much of a page is it? 17 is exactly half a page. So even if I use a full page, I then can either do something else with this page or something. But I am going to leave this page blank in case I want to use it. The final thing I am going to do is um, set up a page for my lettering. And for my lettering this month, I'm literally just going to border the page. And I'm just going to have one page to do all of my lettering for the month. And I think I might just border it with the scallop. Um, so all I'm going to do is run this scallop washi tape all the way around the page. So yeah, have fun just watching me do that for a hot second. It will almost inevitably go horribly wrong somewhere because it's me and it's washi tape. So, the other thing I haven't done is I haven't um, pulled out a journaling card to stick in. And I'm not even sure. I think I might have to like stick it in here. Maybe, actually. Hmm. Let's pull out my journaling cards. Okay, so I took a second um, away and pulled out some things. So, I have this journaling card. It's going to go here and I pulled out some stickers. So for my cover page, I'm literally just gonna stick that journaling card there. And then, hmm, I'm just gonna stick that there, but it kind of looks a bit small on its own. I might just like run a washi strip, but I want like a thin washi strip, like perhaps this blue one, so that it doesn't sort of take over. Does that look better? I think I'm just going to put them that way actually. Not on anything. So let's put this strip of washi back. Or, um, or do I back it on washi still? I think I might still back it on washi. Right. Let's um, get this stuck down first. So this is just a Planet Society journaling card and I've used the books haven't I? So let's use the books and all I do with these is I just pull off a strip stick it on about halfway through Now I've just got a little piece of blue tack to blue tack that there so that it stays like shut. Then on up to this gap here. Just going to use this strip of washi like that. Is that where I want it? I want to split like this gap into three. How big is this gap? 12 so I want about four. Know, wants to be a little bit lower. Isn't that right? So like four and then no, a bit higher. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Four. There we go. And then again, just putting that down. Perfect. And then somewhere around here. Just do the same. I'm just going to neaten off that top one a little bit because that is very jagged. I don't mind that side being a jagged particularly. Then we just have my January sticker. 
a little bit. A bit to the left, to the left, to the left. Oh god, it's ripping. Don't do that. Oh, that sounds like my dad might be home. I should probably go see him because I haven't seen him forever. for He's been away for two days and then he's been at my dad's today. At my granddad's today. My granddad's. My um grand's my granddad has died, unfortunately. Um that looks silly spaced, so I'm just gonna bring these in a bit. Sort of the center of the page. That's the plan at least. And then I'm just going to cut this one very slightly in, essentially to neaten up that line and to make it even. There we go. No, that still looks funny. Oh my god. Oh, it's stuck really well. And now I'm pulling it up. Oh no. That's better. Yeah, that's my cover page. So it will look a bit boring when the journaling card is pulled out. I could put like a full box here. It'll probably depend whether I've got full boxes left at the end, but for now, that's fine. And then, right, I needed the pencil to do this title. Oh, I forgot to grab those two stickers. Oh well. And I'm just gonna write. There we go. Title. Huh. That took forever. And there we go. Um, sorry, I decided just to keep that sped up and do that. So I think that's everything. So we have cover page, which will have the Llamas Love Lettering prompts on so that I can do that and just like, right, that's what that is. We have my habit tracker and my mood tracker and I have actually pulled in, I think I'm going to use, use date dots. These are from a planning choco leftover kit. Um, so I'm just going to use those and pop them in my back pocket for now, for safekeeping. Um, YouTube schedule, I need some dates in. Um, and I've buried my TN a little bit. So let's just pull out the dates for that and write those in. Could even give you a cheeky sneak peek of what the videos are gonna be. YouTube side. Oh, I pulled out a couple of stickers to jazz this up a little bit as well. Na 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 na. There we go. That just spices up that page. Am I actually in focus? And I just rub out this title. I've still managed to sp 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 smudge that even though it was drawn forever. So that's actually it. So it's really this page you've watched me set up and then two other quite boring pages and this page. Yeah. That is it. This is really boring. 
I want to add something to this page. I really want to like do a washi strip in a full box. But then if, um, oh, I might pull this up and regret this decision, but it's just so boring at the moment and I can't deal with it. Um, so this will do for now. I can always try and fit like my table into that gap. There. But yeah, that's a bit better. I mean, it's still boring, but it's a bit better. And then that's for my Llama Loves Lettering. So yeah, that is everything I have for you today. I have loads of stuff left because I haven't used that much. And yeah, um, I'm just gonna get everything tidied up a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six pages of the kit. So we have lots of full boxes, lots of half boxes, some of the quarter boxes, weekly ombres, lots of stuff left and all of the glitter headers. Give you one final flip through of the pages. So we have our cover page. There will be something on this page. I just don't know what yet. And this will have our Llamas Love Lettering Every Damn Day prompts on the back. Then we have our sort of month at a glance. So we have the mood tracker, habit tracker, which I do need to just go and grab the two stickers for that. YouTube schedule and my to-do list. So my brain dump and my waiting on list. Two pages for my spending tracker, which is dead simple this month. I just, I just, I like how clean this looks. I don't want to draw the lines down. I suppose I could use like super skinny washi but I'm not going to at the moment. Um, so that's my spending tracker and that is my um, every damn day prompts. I, what I haven't done is I haven't flipped you through December. So I will just quickly do that. So as you'll see, December is a lot more elaborate. They, they are my cover page and I just have my charm on my monthly page. My monthly at a glance with my habit, my uh, challenges are there. Habit tracker and my mood race. YouTube videos, waiting on and brain dump. Spending tracker. Rando doodles. Lama's love lettering every damn day. Obviously we are on the 19th today. My um, present ideas and as it has been Christmas, I'll show you how I use this, so. Use my other half, so I got him. I'm gonna cover up the prices because I know he sometimes watches my videos. What I got him and the prices are there. Yeah. I didn't write the prices on grands, but my grands like prices would be there. And then they got a star on the front when like I'd brought everything. Then we have some dailies. I didn't use this journaling section. Had this, which I just felt I didn't have enough room for my to-do list, and that was like two days to a page. Then we had some more, another daily and some more days on two pages with more space for lists with no top three. Another waiting on list for Christmas presents. My weekly, and but with like not boxes so that I had more space to do my to-do lists. And I really, really like this. And then just on Saturday and Sunday, I've just only got a bit of room, which is fine for this week because I'm on ward cover Saturday and Sunday, but might not always work. So what I might do for this week is that said we'll be doing Christmas things so I might do like Saturday Sunday and then just have something else there so yeah that is December and this is that is it for my plan with me this month thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed like comment down below thank you so much for watching I hope to see you next time bye